Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a review of set 10325, the Alpine Lodge. That's this year's Winter Village set. Comes in with 1,517 pieces. It's 89.99 in the UK to buy and it has five minifigures. Now I'll get straight into the slight problem that I've got with this set and it's not actually with the set. It's the fact that it has the most beautiful sticker, like ever. I really love the sticker in the set and yet my sticker has gone walkies. So over here, that's where you went to have the Alpine Lodge or I think it's the Two Trees Inn it says, uh, sticker and I cannot find my sticker and I'm really upset about it. I will try and find it but apologies it's not in this review. Here's a close up of it so you can see what it looks like and it clearly sets off this, this scene a lot better than having that blank one there. But let's move on. Let's not get too upset about it. Now I haven't done a review for ages, but I can't miss out on a Winter Village review because it's like one of my absolute favorite themes and I just am always excited to see what they come out with. Now I was expecting them to do something similar to last year and kind of continue on with Main Street. I don't know if they changed their mind and pivoted because there wasn't good feedback from the Main Street last year, but the Alpine Lodge looks good. We have the Winter Chalet from the Brickland Designer Program, but I think this is a very different sort of aesthetic. I guess they could go together, but I like the sort of the log element of this, that that top part there. And actually I really enjoyed the build there because you have to like cross over the pieces quite a lot. And it, it was just good fun. I built this on several different live streams and that's probably how I've lost my sticker. But let's have a look at the small builds first. One of the first things you build is this little snowmobile. This is to drag back the Christmas tree that you build as well that goes on the back here. So it's a nice little build actually and I don't think we've got any snowmobiles in the Winter Village range so far. Got some good movement there and a nice bright red colour with a little bit of decoration at the back as well. So this was a winner for me. I like this. There's also the Outback Toilet. So there's no toilet inside the lodge itself and there you go, you've got a little, very simple, reminds me of I'm a Celebrity, which is quite topical, because that's on at the moment. And then this use of the fern pieces for the tree. I love the effect. I hated the build, though, because it really didn't make it clear, like, which ones you put on when, because you have to sort of stack them on. And I don't really like the look here. That That's not my favourite. But I don't know what this sticker's about. I don't know if that's meant to be like a little hole so you get a little bit of light in there. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty dark inside. You could lift up the roof a little, I guess, but no, that's not going to help, is it? So yeah, basic toilet inside, but at least they have somewhere to go. Now, one thing that we really don't need more of in our winter village are ice rinks. But this one isn't a bad one. It's just we have quite a lot. So you've got a little slope to get up. I feel like it's not much of a slope to get on. And then they've used that opalescent tiles there, or panels, to give that icy effect. And I like the little jetty. Again, the nice tree. And then somewhere for your skates and to rent your skates, I guess. He's not wearing his skates right now because then he'd just fall over. But not bad, but I just, I don't feel like we need it. Okay, main build time. You've got a little log store here and the axe and some logs to chop down. The shutters with those grill pieces looks really nice. I really do like the look of the windows, but you can't open them because they've got the snow inside. I guess you probably wouldn't want to open them if it's got snow on the outside. It would make the room cold. But again, that sign is beautiful. It would be more beautiful with the sticker. And I like the colouring as well. That green sort of for the door looks really good. And you've got a good amount of decoration little bird in a birdhouse there as well. So you've got the brick built bit at the bottom and then sort of the log cladding at the top. Nice little balcony there and a little grey squirrel. Side view you've got a chimney and we have a light brick in this set and I didn't, I couldn't work out where it was going to go because we'd built the fireplace in the first bit but we hadn't put the light brick in and it turns out the light brick goes sort of halfway up-ish and then the mechanism allows you to push the chimney top and it really does light up that fireplace so well and because it's halfway up ish you also get a nice fireplace next to that bed as well 
lights up and I found that I can just sort of push this down at, at points it does stay and you can have the lights on mm, it's not doing that now so that's a shame because I thought that was quite a nice, nice feature but I guess it was stuck on something and that's now loosened here's the Christmas tree you build in the first bag it's now been decorated to go inside you've got some nice table and chairs there a little sprinkle cookie as well and then right inside is like a coffee and breakfast stand I think so that's like little biscuits maybe not not waffles actually I don't see a waffle maker but somewhere to have some a bite to eat in the mornings little guest book as well I think that is or registration book at the front door and so it's called two trees in and in my head that means it's a pub but I think it's meant to be more of like a b and b you've got three bedrooms um, I would imagine that there's maybe a wall here, but maybe that's just a double double room. So you've got the one here, or oh, I'm missing a brick here that I've dropped on the floor and forgot to pick up. Um, just ignore that. A uh, little bed there, and lots of little side tables. I kind of feel the person in the roof is going to be a bit cramped up there, but it gets more people in. And then the roof itself, lift you up a little. That was quite a nice little build and it I don't know if this is just mainly for playability or if that's just the technique for joining on the roof but it sort of lifts up like this so you, you can't put both up at the same time very easily unless you sort of do that but it, I don't feel like it really adds much more play space and it looks a bit weird when you've got it up so I think that is just the mechanism for attaching it and they've decorated it nicely so I think it looks pretty good so let's take a quick look at the minifigures. There's five in this set. I imagine this lady is checking in to stay. Nice little pullover there. Front and back printing. And maybe this is how she arrives at the inn because she's super tired. Or maybe she's just really content with her little excursion. You've got the older lady um, minifig here and I really love that cardigan she's got on. She also has an alternate face, not much difference there. But she also comes with an alternate headpiece. And for her, that's the little hat with goggles. I'm guessing that's because she's gonna go super fast on the snowmobile. We've got a very cute small child here. I love the cheeks on that one. They're not sort of rosy, they're just, I don't know, cute. And again, the really cool Christmas jumper going on. Very jolly alternate face there. And if you look very carefully, they also have braces. And they come with an alternate hat, little beanie hat. You've got the moustached man here. Great moustache, but he does look a bit like a barista. I love the flat cap though. And obviously because that's a short cap, there is no alternate face on him. And then the last figure is a skier. So we get two lovely blue skis there. Don't quite match his top, but it's a very nice top. Sort of zips, elasticated waist. And I think he's going a bit too fast. That face definitely looks a bit scared. He's got a backpack and a much happier alternate face. And it does have printing on the back as well. One thing I would say is the little seating area at the back. You can quite easily take that off if you've got a smaller depth that you need to put this on in your winter village so that can come off very easily but i really like the aesthetic of this i think it looks great it's back to sort of being a proper build and not a sort of facade like we saw in main street and the light brick is just used really well so i think it's a winner for me and i'm happy to have had it i really enjoyed the build and i'm looking forward to putting it in our winter village so let me know in the comments below what you think of the Alpine Lodge. Have you got that in your city yet? Are you happy that they didn't continue on the sort of facade builds like we saw last year? Or do you wish they had? Also, if you really love Winter Village, I've got a whole Winter Village playlist because that is one of my favourites. So there is a lot of content there. I'll link that up at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.